right, guys, you're watching Herp Tubathon on Herper's Guide. The guy that's going to be giving you the next uh, challenge. Guys, we're talking about Stan Lake from uh, Catching Creation. This guy is a nut. He is, is one crazy dude. I'm sorry, man. If you're watching this, I am not going to do a cartwheel for you guys. I'm worried about potential head injuries and stuff. So uh, <laughs> you guys don't want to see that anyway. So, but anyway, Stan Lake, man, he's a great guy. You definitely want to check out his channel. It ranges from herping to other uh, wildlife endeavors that he runs into. He's got a great group of people that work with him on the channel. One of the things that impresses me the most about his channel, his passion for what he does. He, he's not fake, he means business. Uh, and you can just tell when you're watching the videos that he just loves doing what, he, what he's doing. So guys, here's Stan Lake from Catching Creation. What's up guys, Stan Lake here with Catching Creation. My challenge for you is to tell somebody about reptiles and amphibians this week. We want to see in this challenge you how you've educated somebody about reptiles and amphibians in a positive way or just wildlife in general, the plight of wildlife so to speak. Because if we're not telling people about these wonderful animals and we're not putting them in a positive light, they're going to continually get the negative attention that they've been getting in the news. So that's your challenge and if you can add a cartwheel to your challenge that might increase your odds of winning this one and if you know what a cartwheel is, it's like this. But you don't even have to be able to do one that good. And that wasn't that good. Wink. Rule number one, there's no handling of hops. I know that some of you guys are definitely experienced enough to do that, but there's others that aren't. We want to level the playing field. We don't want anyone taking an unnecessary risk. Rule number two, every clip in your video needs to be your own material. We don't want to get into any copyright infringement. Rule number three, each and every day we're going to be putting out a new challenge, but we're not going to have the challenges due until the end of the week, which works out great if you're having an off day. But you definitely don't want to procrastinate because the challenges will stack up at the end. And you want to complete each and every challenge because that increases your odds of winning the free gifts. Rule number four, we got to have a good time. We want to see you guys enjoying yourselves, enjoying nature, and having fun with the reptiles and amphibians that you find. Be kind to one another, be kind to the environment, always catch a release, and happy herping.